Meron tayong tatlong cases sa pagsulat ng equation ng isang line using the slope intercept form which is y equal to mx plus b. Yung first case yung pinakamadali kasi binibigay na sa atin yung slope at saka yung y intercept. All we need to do is to plug it into the formula and then we'll have the equation of a line. So meron tayong slope, meron tayong y intercept at kapag binigay na sa atin yung dalawang values na yan, direct substitution na lang yung gagawin natin kaya madali lang yung sa case number 1. Yung sa case number 2, Eh, may dagdag na step dito kasi kailangan natin maghanap ng isa sa mga parts na ang ating equation ng line. Kasi dito, ang meron lang tayo is isang point at isang y-intercept. So yung y-intercept will be given, which is your b, pero since wala yung slope, hahanapin natin yung slope by using the formula. Yung case number 3 naman, yun yung may pinakamaraming steps dito sa tatlong cases na to kasi dalawang points lang yung given sa atin. So ito yung mga cases ng word problems or problems na kung saan kailangan natin isulat yung equation ng isang line using the slope-intercept form. Naumpisa na natin yung case number 1 dun sa First lesson natin, yung case number 2 naman, yung ating pagbibigyan ng pansin. Dito sa second case na to, we need to write the equation of a line passing through the point 3, 4, given a slope of 2. So dito, dalawa yung given na parts sa atin. Meron tayong isang point na nagpa-pass through dun sa line na yun at meron tayong given slope, which is equal to 2. So pag sulat or paghanap na equation ng line given a point and the slope, we will need our slope intercept form which is y equal to mx plus b. So, ang una nating step dito is to find the y intercept. And to find the y intercept, all we need to do is to use the formula and by direct substitution, makukuha natin yung value ng y-intercept na kung saan yun yung letter B dun sa formula natin. So sa given point na 3 and 4, pwede natin gamitin si 3 as our x value at si 4 as our y value. Since given yung slope, m is equal to 2. So pag ginamit natin yung formula na to, magiging... Titira na lang si letter B na kung saan pwede natin siyang isolve. So we have y, which is 4 x, which is 3, at yung slope natin of 2, sa substitute natin sa slope-intercept form, para mahanap natin si y-intercept, which is b. So by solving for the value of b, 2 times 3 is 6, subtract 6 on both sides, and b is equal to negative 2. So therefore, meron na tayo slope, meron na tayo y-intercept, pwede na natin isulat yung equation ng line using the slope-intercept form. So, since m is 2 and b is negative 2, yung line or equation ng line natin is y equal to 2x minus 2. At ito na yung equation ng line na hinahanap natin given a point and the slope. Now, in our second example, we are given a slope of 1 half. And we need to write the equation of a line that is passing through the point 8 and negative 3. So, dun sa example na to, meron ulit tayong given slope at meron din tayong uh, given point. So, yung step 1 natin is to find the y-intercept. So, by using the slope-intercept form at yung given values ng ating point at saka ng slope, by direct substitution, we have negative 3 equal to 1 half of 8 plus b. And by solving it, 1 half of 8 is 4, so we have negative 3 equal to 4 plus b. By getting rid of 4, we have to subtract 4 on both sides, giving us b equal to negative 7. So therefore, sa step number 2, pwede na tayong magsulat ng equation ng line kasi meron na tayong slope, which is 1 half, at meron na tayong b na nasolve natin kanina sa step 1, which is negative 7. And by substitution, yung equation ng line na hinahanap natin is y equal to 1 half x minus 7.